Howdy guys, Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering and today what I'm going to show you is how to mix this product. What we're using today is a BMI acrylic, it's a 300 course, it's a very good product. We do a lot of acrylics with, from a bunch of different companies and let me tell you, this is my favorite. It spreads well, it doesn't sag, it's a great product to use. So now I'm going to show you how to mix it. You've got your mixer here, what you want to do is break the set for just a sec. <laughs> And then you're going to add your color. We've got our color here. First, I'm going to drop all that color in. Give it a bit of a drill. Now, when you're using these guys, you can actually add a little bit of water for extra workability. How much you add depends on who's spreading and how much you want to do but you can add up to about 12 ounces. These little cans here are a little over 12 ounces, and if you notice, there's a bunch of color still left in there. So if you don't rinse this stuff out and get it, you're not gonna get the right color. So what I will do is fill this about halfway, put this lid back on, and then shake the heck out of it. Now, how do you know how much is 12 ounces if you don't have one of these cans? Well, it's about the size of a bottle of beer. So get all that color. Then I can pour that stuff back in. And I'm gonna do that one more time so that I get up to about 12 and get the rest of this little color out of there. There's gonna be some color left in the jar. You know, it's impossible to get it all. So there, now I've got as much color as I'm gonna be able to get out of there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna mix it for about a minute. You don't wanna over mix this stuff, you don't wanna under mix it. And the big thing is you don't wanna try and suck a lot of air into the product. Now all I'm looking for is I want good color dispersion. I wanna make sure that color gets sucked all the way to the bottom. And then all the way to the top. Nice thing about these drills is they've got a forward and a reverse. So you can go just up and down, back and forth, make sure you get all that stuff spread. The last thing I'm gonna do is when you do this, you might end up with a bit of your color hanging out around the side of the bucket. I've already added most of the water I wanna add, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of squirts here to make sure that none of that color pigment is hanging out on the side where it might discolor something when one of my uh, spreaders goes to pull that out of the bucket. So now that I've done that, we'll give it the last little bit of mix. There we go. Now I've got a nice uniform bit of color in there, and this is ready for my spreaders to spread. Anyway, it's pretty simple if you know what you're doing. You don't want to add too much water. You don't want to add too little because then it's really hard to spread and get on the wall. We're doing a ton of little porch balcony things here, about 2,000 feet today. Lots of these buckets getting mixed, so I'm going to get back to it. Anyway, my name is Jason. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plaster. 